Hey everyone, it's Brandy and welcome back to my channel, Brandy Janae's Poke Show. Today I'm going to be doing a goals check in for halfway point through the year as well as quarter two stats. <music> I think at least as far as this video, I'm going to be going over all of the stats that I talked about in the last quarterly check-in video. So starting off with my reading goal. With my reading goal for the year, especially what I set to Goodreads was 150 books. And honestly, my real goal, which is what I consider a stretch goal, is to complete 200 books by the end of the year. By the end of June, I finished or completed 97 books. So I think at this point, I should have no problem with hitting my 200 goal by the end of the year. Let's go ahead and start off by talking about the books read per month. Looking at the chart and we're going to be talking about books from April, May, and June. So April as you can see was a slow month with only nine books read. In May I read a total of 18. Yeah and then in June I finished a total of 20 books. Moving on to the next step which is pages read per month. As you can see April is the lowest amount of pages that I've read per month. May was just over 4,800 which is kind of surprising to see that my page count was higher in May than it was in June and I read two more things in, in June than I did in May. As far as pages read for the year it was almost 30,000 pages. It was 29,952 pages that I've read so far from January until June. And then back to reading method. Physical books is actually my highest with 45.5% of the books that I've read have been me physically reading them. And then the next highest is actually mixed media. Mixed media is sitting at 26.3%. The next highest is audiobook. The audiobook is sitting at 18.2% and then finally ebook is the lowest at 10%. Moving on to the next category of stats that I want us to talk about which is genre. Yes genre breakdown. So my highest read genre so far for the first half of the year is manga sitting at 37.1%. At this point in the year the majority of the books that I'm reading are manga which I would like to even that out a little bit more. The next highest genre that I have is fantasy at 32%. Next highest percentage of genre that I've read is romance around 10%. Um, then we have contemporary at 7% and then the next highest is comic at 6%. Science fiction is at 3%. Um, horror is at 1%. I think I do have a couple of other genres that are probably around 1% as well but they don't have like a tag listed to them as you can see here. So so far this year I've read across 10 different genres. And looking at this now, I can definitely say I really want to read more romance as well as more science fiction by the end of the year because those are my two favorite genres. And I feel like I have been slacking so much on both of those. So if you have any recommendations that you would like me to read or you um, just really loved from either of those genres, definitely let me know in the comments because I really want to make sure that I'm reading more from both of those genres. The next thing that I'm going to go over is star rating. This is another one that I'm honestly not too shocked about either just because of this is how I tend to rate things anyway especially lately. So my highest percentage is four stars at almost 60 percent. The next highest percentage is three star ratings at around 27 percent and then following that is five stars which only 12 almost 12 and a half percent of the books that I've rated this year has gotten five stars. The only other thing I have up there is two star rating which is one percent. I think I've only given one or two books two stars this year. The next stat that I'm going to talk about is age category. 
Getting right into it, young adult is the highest percentage at 55.6%. Next highest is adult at 35.4%. Next is middle grade at 5.1%. The next one that I want us to talk about is rereads versus new reads. So rereads is sitting around 21.2%. And then first time reads is 78.8%. And then as far as series and standalones, standalone is sitting at 22.2%. And then series is at 77.8%. And so far this year, I have finished three series. So I am working on, I think that was one of my goals as well, to complete series. So I'm working on that. And then what I believe is going to be the final stat that I'm talking about in this video is how I got the different books. So for this section, of course, this is for all the books that I have read, which is how the stats are tracked. My highest percentage at 37.4 percent is books that I have owned and when I count this I am counting books that I purchased or received before the start of 2021 and I decided to separate this because I wanted to see how many books from my previously owned shelves I'm actually reading the next highest percentage as of right now is actually borrowed books at 19.2 percent i can see that going up as the year progresses but that's where we are as of right now the next highest or actually is about even with borrowed at a little bit over 19 percent as well is purchase books it could be higher but i'm happy with that moving on the next highest percentage at 12 percent is mangas that i received at manga spice cafe i think that's the last of the sets that i had to show you guys i'm pretty happy with where i'm sitting at now honestly i don't feel like super um one way or another when it comes to the sets i just like to see where they are so i can get a good like a general summary of where i'm sitting at as far as how my reading is going for the month. So moving on now that I've finished talking about all of the stats that I wanted to go over for the second quarter, I wanted to move into talking about my update for 12 months reads of 2021. I finished three, another three for the second quarter. The first one that I was able to mark off of my list for the second quarter was Kingdom of Souls by Rena Barron. I think I finished this one in May and it ended up getting four stars for me. This one was way different than what I was expecting it to be, but it was still very interesting. There were a lot of twists and turns, especially towards the end, and I was just like, I need more. I have the sequel. I have not read it yet, but this was really good. Like I said, got four stars for me. The next one that I finished was Red Rising by Pierce Brown, which is the first book in a sci-fi series. I really enjoyed it. I gave it four stars and I will be checking out the other two from the library so that I can read them. And then the final book that I read off of that list is The Hundred Thousand Kingdoms by N.K. Jemisin. For this one it was really an author pick and it was either between this one and the fifth season. I heard a lot of people say that this one was a lot easier to get into. That's why I started here and I did enjoy this one as well. It got four stars from me and although I've read this one and it technically completed that um, selection that I had I think I still might try to get to the fifth season before the end of the year. But like I said, that was another three books off of that list finished. So because we're halfway through the year, I've read six books off of that list. So I have another six to go. Now that I am finished talking about that section, the final thing that I wanted to talk about was all of my five star reads for the second quarter of the year. So over these three months, I only had five books that got five stars which I think is kind of crazy. I thought it was going to be more than that, but I think there were a couple that were close, but they were just slightly off from getting that five star. So the first one that got five stars was Act Your Age Eve Brown by Talia Hibbert. This was the third book or companion in the Brown Sisters series. I just thought this one was really cute. I was a little skeptical going into this one because um, Eve was kind of just all over the place in the first two books. This book it definitely helped explain why she was kind of switching between different jobs and things like that and it made me really enjoy her character as well. The next one I'm sure you guys have seen me talking about this way too many times but that one is Solo Leveling Volume 1 by Chu Gong. This is one of the ones that came in the Manga Spice Cafe box. I think this was actually in the second box I received and this is so good um if you guys are into like video gaming or like 
like role playing games, um, like comics. I don't know. It's just a lot of a different interest. And I had a feeling looking at the cover, reading the description that I was going to like it. But I did not realize how much I was going to love it. I'm already looking forward to volume two and three. The next one was Sweat and Soap volume six by Kintetsu Yamada. Honestly, you guys shouldn't be surprised um, when these come out or whenever I read them, you should just expect this to be five stars because these are just adorable and it like hits every single thing for me every time I read them. So I love this. I'm going to be sad when this is over. But and then finally, the last two five stars that I had for this quarter was Heartstopper Volume 1 and 2 by Alice Oseman. I went into this not expecting to love these i've heard a lot of praise from a lot of different people a lot of different reading types but i was just like um it's going to be a cute story and it's going to be enjoyable but it's not going to be that much um but these two volumes were amazing um it showed a lot of different aspects of realizing your sexuality and coming out and finding someone who you feel like you can be yourself with and it was just beautiful with that being said that is everything that i think i have to talk about for this video like i mentioned earlier let me know if you have any romance and science fiction recommendations but also let me know what some of your favorite books were from the last quarter so april may and june um, or anything else that you want to comment let me know down below i'm enjoying keeping up with these stats and doing check-ins every three months it's holding me accountable making sure that i'm checking in with my goals to make sure that i am working on them i think that's everything that i have to talk about so if you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you would like to see more from me make sure you subscribe thank you guys so much for watching i will see you again in the next one bye